Let's get deeper into these themes and the significance of China hosting the G20. Jack Perkowski joins us live from Philadelphia. He's a managing partner at JFP Holdings. Thanks so much for joining us. Um, Jack, let's talk broadly about the G20. How important is this block to the world's economic system? Well, it's very, very important because uh, I think the G20 countries account for by far the majority of the, uh, the global economy. So the, uh, you know, the leaders that will be represented in Hangzhou, the countries they represent, uh, you know, really drive the global economy. So this is a very, very important block. And then the fact that it's being held in China for the first time is a real tip of the hat to, uh, to China's development uh, of its economy and its importance to the global economy. Our correspondent Su Yuting mentioned the themes of the summit. They are innovative, invigorated, interconnected, and inclusive. And there really is a focus not just developing, but to doing it in a sustainable way and one that bridges the gap between developed and developing countries. How difficult are these themes to accomplish, do you think? Uh, you know, I think they're all you know, very uh, good themes and, and very important themes. And, and I think China's uh, taking a leadership role in trying to do that, for example, with its One Belt, One Road initiative, where essentially uh, it's embracing 64 you know, less developed countries and, and trying to use uh, China's capital, but also the, uh, you know, the uh, capabilities it's built up in infrastructure and building its own economy to extend those to those countries. So I think that um, it is a, it's clearly a very worthwhile goal. It, but it's one that can be accomplished by the by the countries that are you know that will be represented in uh, in Hangzhou. Pretty forward thinking, you know. You mentioned this, uh, Jack, for China hosting the G20 is just the latest in a series of high-profile meetings and summits in recent years. What is China's role in this block, especially in terms of developing countries? Well, first of all, uh, you know, China accounts for about about twelve and a half percent of the entire global economy in terms of GDP. However, you know, that really understates its importance because China accounts for about 25 percent of the annual growth each year in global GDP. So China is really the, by far, you know, the leading country as far as providing growth to the global economy. And, and again, uh, you know, by uh, initiatives like the One Belt, One Road, China is taking a leadership role in trying to include and trying to uh, to use its experience and so forth to uh, to help other countries develop. It's played a very active role, not just in the uh, Silk Road countries, but also uh, in emerging Africa. You know, one of the most influential G20 summits happened back in 2009 in Pittsburgh, not too far from where you are now. What are you expecting to come out of this G20? Well, I was very happy to see it in Pittsburgh. That's my uh, that's my hometown. But, uh, you know, I think that, you know, as your, uh, you know, previous, uh, you know, guest said, it's a very important summit because it comes at a time when the global economy really, since the financial crisis, has really experienced an extended period of slow growth. So if the leaders of these countries can, can come to some, you know, concrete agreements on how to develop, then I think, um, you know, that's going to be very important for the global economy. The, uh, you know, I think that, that uh, you know, China, you know, the, of the four, you know, different themes, the uh, innovative and the interconnected really come right out of China's 13th uh, five-year plan where, you know, China's emphasizing new energy vehicles, advanced manufacturing, industry 4.0, also interconnectivity to drive its own economy. So I would, you know, I could see some initiatives, uh, you know, that, that uh, you know, the really take a, a lead from what China's trying to do over the next uh, five years. And clearly, the, you know, the theme of, uh, you know, inclusive and invigorating means that, you know, Ch you know China would, you know, would like all the countries, all the leading countries to, to, to really take a more active role in, uh, in, you know, really promoting sustainable development. So I think there's a very good chance that we will have some concrete policies that will come out of, or, or practices will come out of this, uh, you know, G20 summit that, uh, that will help the way forward. All right, Jack Perkowski, JFP Holdings, thanks for joining us from Philadelphia. My pleasure.